out of three. They gave me three and I told them this is gonna turn out good. This one, no, not so good. So um, go ahead and be thinking about what you wanna do for your final project, okay? So let me stop sharing my screen and we're gonna do the mystery grid project or activity. It's my favorite thing. I love, 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 love it. Okay, so let me get this camera thingy back on. Yeah, they're right here on this half table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all we'll see, yeah, y'all can see. I'm just making sure y'all can see. Okay, so we're going to do the grid project for several different reasons, okay? It's gonna help, help you practice for the uh, the next project is gonna be a grid a grid uh, project. And I know a lot of people don't like it, but guys, let me show you. Let me share my screen again. Let me show you, I forgot to show you. Look at this. Right, well. So you might remember I showed you these, but some of y'all, maybe you didn't see these. These, are, these. This is how I used to draw in high school. Okay, there's me in high school. Okay, and then here, I actually, that, those are my drawings from high school. 1985, I was actually a junior. No, I was a senior, okay? So I could not draw very well. I didn't have any art classes or anything. And uh, I always thought I couldn't draw. So just to kind of refresh your memory that I, I just, I was horrible. And you kind of have to go back up here. Over just a tad. So everybody draws funny like these are all my junior high ones <laughs> believe it or not but everybody starts off drawing like this okay it's lagging a little bit come on this one's not lagging but that one's lagging okay so everybody no matter who you are even Picasso at some time in his life he drew a house like this with the chimney going off the side Okay, he drew people like this with <laughs> not any fingers or arms or stuff. It, everybody does that. It's been proven that everybody has to go through this stage where you're drawing a lollipop tree. I call them a lollipop tree. But what happens is sometimes you get stuck. So if you're not good at, at drawing things realistically, that's probably what happened is you just kind of got stuck in, in, a, in a specific, uh, what is it called, stage. They're called stages. So that's what we're doing today is I'm going to help you kind of get over that. Even if you're really good at drawing, that's okay. You can get better because look here, these are some of my, uh, in the last 10 years or so, some of the things that, I, that I've drawn. Okay. <laughs> these are my before pictures. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's funny. Okay. Oh, trust me. What, even if you don't like grids, trust me, just try your best today. And I'm going to draw something, then you're going to draw something. Then I'm going to draw something, then you're going to draw something. And then it's going to end up being something at the end, okay? So let me get out all this stuff here. Okay, get this grid. Everybody got that grid? Yeah, I think I can X out all this now. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Okay, you're going to need a pencil. If you don't have a pencil, get, get a pencil, get it sharpened. And let me stop sharing my screen. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Okay, so the very first thing is we're gonna we're gonna number and letter our grids. What time is it? We have 45. Okay, I'm trying to decide which one to do. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay. So on the side here, go ahead, number one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, down the side. And I actually like to write it on this side too. One, two, three. And then across the top, we're going to, not in the box, above the box, go A, B, C, D. Okay. 
the light turned on. There we go. Yep. If you don't have room, just do it real. I would do it down here at the bottom. Wait. Did you do one, two, three, four? Uh huh. So you could put it down here if you want to. Okay, A, because you don't need this. You don't need these box. These two boxes down here. A, B, C, D. Okay. So let's start in. Um, hang on, let me. I gotta label mine. Hang on, A. We're doing a hard one, okay? To challenge you guys. Okay, let's start. There's nothing in 1A, so there's nothing here in 1A. Let me. Okay, so let's start here in B1, okay? B1 right here. And I'm going to be giving you a lot of measurements. Like I'm going to say about five millimeters over. And the other class, they said they weren't exactly sure what a millimeter was, which is okay, because I didn't know that when I was y'all's age either. Let me zoom in so you can see. So a millimeter is little tiny. It's like if you have a sharp pencil, it's like that pencil. That's one. One millimeter, two, three, four, five. So if I say five millimeters, it's five pencil, pencil widths. Okay. So I'll say if it's really tiny measurement, I'll say millimeter. If it's like a, a measurement that we're used to, like an inch or not an inch, like a hat. Like if I say here, let's do it together so you you know what I'm saying. Like for instance, in 1B, I'm gonna say, go over about a third of the way over. So you have to know what that is. So this is one third of, from, from here to here. Okay, halfway is about right here, but I'm saying one third, okay? So then you're gonna draw a curved line and it's gonna hit about right here and that's about five millimeters over. So five, two, three, four, five pencil, pencil widths. And I don't know if y'all heard me at the beginning of the class, but the last class, they said that it was really helpful to just join the Zoom so that they could see this on their own computer instead of having to look up there. But you're welcome to just look up there if you want to, or you can join the Zoom. We'll have you. Okay, let's go to 1C. And we are going to go one fourth of the way over. So if you were to divide this up into four, okay, you're going to go one fourth of the way over. Okay, and the bottom of this box, find the middle. Wait, one fourth of the way over from the right or left? from the right here so we're in we're in one c and at the top of one c it's one fourth from the right and you're going to draw a kind of a curved line like whoopsie and then it's going to hit right here at the halfway See right here that's half Okay. <sighs> okay, let's go. Oh, what I want to tell you is it's real important, like when you're drawing eyes or noses or anything, anything that you want to learn how to draw, when you use a grid, try to look at things like, like see how this is little right here? Mm -hmm. And then this is bigger. So look at things like that. Okay, look at this one. It's the opposite. This is little here, and then it gets bigger here. This 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 shape right here. Y'all see what I'm saying? Okay, you don't have to shade it in, but but you have to look at things like that. Even when you're drawing an eye, you know, don't think of it as an eye. Think of it, think of it, because you don't know what this is yet. It's a mystery drawing, but that's part of learning how to draw something. That's that's what I have found. It's not thinking about what it is helps. And that's why we're doing this. Okay, so let's go to 2B, 2B or not to be, okay? And 
the bottom of 2B on the left, you're going to go over about three millimeters, not very much, a smidgen. And then you're going to take this, the top, the this line here, and then, whoops, don't touch the side. Don't know why I did that. There we go. Okay, and then notice that this is little. I mean, why did I say little? No, notice this is wide and then it gets littler as it goes down. And it's little bitty. Like it's only like two pencil, two millimeters right there from the, from the edge. It's really tiny. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, sometimes when you're drawing something that's really complicated, and you're going to notice this on your project when you draw, like if you're drawing a dog or something and you have to draw the, the teeth or something, that's hard. Teeth on an animal, teeth on person, those are the hardest things to draw, believe me. So if you think of them as teeth, they're not going to turn out good. So you have to think of them as just being shadows and shapes and stuff. And another hint, another Mooney's magic trick is like, if this was like something really complicated in your drawing, just divide it up. Like, and it doesn't have to be perfect. So you're just gonna divide this box up into smaller boxes so that you can find the midpoint right here. The, mid, the middle of that square is what we're going for. Okay, so what we're going to do is the bottom of 2B, right in the middle, you're going to draw a line that goes straight up, it goes right through the middle, and then it goes right to the top right corner like that. And then I'm going to erase my guideline here so you're not confused. Those were just guidelines. forgot to make them dash. Let me make them dashes. So this little exercise is going to help you learn how to draw anything you want better. I promise. Well, it worked for me. That's all I know. Okay. So this is a challenging one. Let's go to 2C and do the same thing. Let's find the middle of this box and it doesn't have to be exact but it's going to help because these are the kind of the hardest boxes right here okay Woo, this is hard okay so the last class there it was easy it was easy peasy okay um uh, okay let me think real quick okay so that's the whole point is I'm not telling you it's a mystery drawing. Yeah. See how I'm, I'm hiding it from you so you don't see. It's a mystery I'm hiding it behind this black paper yeah. But that's the whole, that's the whole point like what is it that you want to learn how to draw this year. Uh, anything right like your hand or a shoe or a, a pencil or a car or whatever just draw well I can't tell you that yet. Um, just break it up into little little pieces and it helps you see it better. That's what that's why we're doing this. Okay. Because that's what I did. Okay, so this was the hardest part. Okay, so we're in 2B. This line that we started right here is going to continue into 2C. And it kind of curves. Let me darken it in so you can see it better. It kind of curves. Okay, go ahead and do that real quick. Am I too zoomed in? The other class said I was a little too zoomed in. Is that better or worse? What we're what we're doing here is how I do this. What we're doing right here is how I drew this. 
Okay, just to let you know. One of the things that made me go, oh my God, I can do this, I can draw. Okay, so that line that we just drew into two C is going to come out and down about right to there. This is the hardest part right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So the next thing, let's go to the bottom of 2B. And this line that we just drew, we're going to do another one, another line similar to that, but not exactly. And Oh my goodness, this is hard. Okay. Um, okay, so about halfway. Eh, let's do one third. One third of the way over. You're going to go up. Like that. And so you have to see, you have to see if you don't have these dashed lines drawn, you're not going to be able to do this. I mean, you could just look at it and guess. You don't have to have these dotted lines if you're good at looking and, and copying. Oh my goodness, this one's hard. I know y'all don't want to hear that, but at least I'm giving y'all a really, a, this is the hardest one I've, I ever do with art one. Okay, so Holy free holies. Okay, so there's going to be another one, another line in box 2B. Okay, and it goes up. Okay, it's like a, it's like a, a another rainbow kind of, wait. wait. Hang on, here's this middle. I'll just draw it and then y'all can copy it. Yeah, it's a it's like a rainbow. Y'all see the rainbow here? It's like three rainbows. Yep, that's right. <laughs> this is hard. Okay. Um. Okay, this last rainbow we just did. Go ahead, and it stops about right here. Okay, which is about a fourth of the way over from the right. Okay, if you want a, a measurement. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. This one goes, we're still in box 2C. And this one curves like this, and then it goes into this other little box just a tad bit like that. So it's kind of like hills, kind of. There's this one, it goes right through the midpoint here. It touches right here. See right here, it touches that intersection right there. Okay, so for this really hard part, we just have one more little line, and this is the weirdest line right in here. It starts here. Okay, this is this is this is crazy. Starts here, and then it goes like this. And it doesn't touch. It doesn't touch. It's only touching here. I'll put a dot for you. It only touches there and there. You don't have to put dots. I just put dots for you. Because this is the hardest line right there. And then I'm going to erase my guidelines to kind of so you can see what it is. And that <laughs> was the hardest part, believe it or not. Oh, good. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. We're halfway done. <laughs> Okay, 
So now we're going to go to three. Make sure y'all can see it. Three, three B, okay, right here. And you know what? Let's just do, let's just do this whole thing. Let's just divide. Do dash lines. Well, you do whatever you want. I'm just. We want to divide up these into smaller boxes. <clears throat> oh, that's crooked, but it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. So if we don't do this part right, it, it's going to look funny. So let's, we're at the top of 3C, okay? But this, this, this line right here, you're going to come into this box and do a little like that, like a little rooftop thing, like a, I don't know what I'm talking about. Though. Yeah, a little rooftop. Yeah. Mervin, are you doing this? Are you drawing along with this? Oh, you are? Oh, okay. I forgot I need to come check. Somebody in the last class, I don't know how she was doing it. She was drawing everything backwards. I don't know. I, I mean, that takes a lot of brain power. But like this, what we're drawing now, she was drawing it. She was drawing it this way. If you can't see it, but she was drawing it this way. Y'all can't see it on this paper. She's drawing it backwards on this paper. I was like, holy moly. But once I got her going the right way, she she got it. She understood. So in fact, I need to come around and check to make sure nobody's getting confused. I'll I'll do that in just a second. Okay. So we're in 3C. And there's not really there's not really any measurements I can tell you. You just come like this, you come around. And you loop it, loop into this box like that. These are the these these boxes right here will look. If we don't get these just very similar, it's going to look funny, and that's okay. Okay, and then come back over here to the this little rooftop thing we did. And it's going to come into this. It's going to go into 3D just a little bit. Okay, like that. Well, I'm going to zoom in because that's a little, that's kind of hard to explain. But so it comes into, you might want to look at this shape right here. Okay, you don't have to you don't have to shade it in, but look at this shape. Looks like Nevada kind of. So you want to have a Nevada shape right there in that corner. Okay, you want to have um, this shape that goes into 3D. It's like a little bitty smidgen. I'll show you the whole box so you can see it's not. It's just it goes. I don't even know how to measure that. Like three millimeters maybe into this into this box. Okay, and this is the part that you really want to pay attention to this, this shape right here. This one comes into this box and then up like that. What time is it? Okay, we are good. We are good on time. See if anybody's saying anything in the chat. Nope. Okay. okay. So let's do this box right here. Let's finish up. Which box is this? 3D. 3D just has a little bitty thing in it. Okay. And it comes out. About like that.
I'm doing that. Let me come around and see if anybody's trying to drop backwards or something. Okay. So I hope those of you at home are doing good. Um, it looks like we need to go back here to this, to box 2C and kind of look at that just a little bit better. So if you just look at 2C by itself, something's going on in some of y'all's. So just double check that there's this line, there's one line that goes to here, whoops. <laughs> Okay. okay, there's another line here, it touches there. Some of y'all don't have this touching right here. And it comes around and it touches right here. And, and then this is just a rainbow by itself. It doesn't touch anything in box 2C. And then everybody did this part right. It was, it was, it was something was weird going on here with some of y'all. Okay. Oh my God. Y'all look so good. I can't wait for y'all to see what it is. Okay. Let me zoom back up. Okay. So let's go. Let's finish up box 3C. Okay. So 3C. We just have one little thing here to draw. Okay. And it's, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm just going to have to draw it. It goes like this. It hits right there in that intersection right there. It curves. And then there's a line that goes like this. And my pencil didn't. There we go. Now you can see it better. I don't think that's right then. Okay, and then, okay, this one's kind of hard, right? It's not that hard. It's just a little hard. You're gonna draw an, an egg. And I know an egg and an egg, it goes like this. It almost touches the line, but not quite. Okay about like that. And so look at this, oops, bring it over just a little bit more, there we go. Yep, that's better. Okay, so look how close it gets to this line right here. Okay, and look how much space is over here. So it's closer to this line than this line. Okay, now we gotta draw some Chico's. Two little Cheetos. Okay, let's draw the little Cheeto first. Okay, we're in box 4C. It actually starts, it actually starts in 4B. So let's do the beginning of the Cheeto here. Yeah, I'll, you'll, you'll see, or a kidney bean. It's kind of like a kidney bean. I always think of it as a Cheeto though. I don't know why. A Cheeto. That's what I'm thinking, Cheeto puff. Yeah, 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 that's it, Cheeto puff. That's exactly what it looks like, even better than, mine doesn't look like a Cheeto puff. There, now it looks like a Cheeto puff. It's kind of like a kidney bean too. Okay, now we're gonna draw a bigger Cheeto or whatever you wanna call that. 
that's right here. It doesn't it doesn't touch the egg, but it does touch right there. And it comes into this box. I'll zoom out in just a second so y'all can see, because you can't really tell how much space. There we go, now you can see. And the Cheetos don't touch. There's some space in between the Cheetos. There we go. And we're almost done. Oh, I already know what it is. You do? Yeah. Don't say, don't say. If you know, don't say. Yeah, that's what you said. Back you. Who was it? I didn't say it. I heard somebody say it. It's okay. Everybody's going to know in a, in a little while, but it's better if they don't know what it is. Okay. So we're almost done. I can't believe it. Okay. So, uh, let me zoom back in so you can see. So let's do 4C, like where this Cheeto is. This line needs to touch the Cheeto. It's not that big a deal, but it just needs to touch the Cheeto. Okay. And then connect these two Cheetos like that. And then kind of follow, follow that same line on this side of the Cheeto. You're just gonna go like that. That looks blurry to me. Let's see what's going on here. Still looks blurry. Oh, that's better, I guess. Okay. One, two, three, four. We just have six more things. I think. What time is it? Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, so okay, let's do four C. Just find the the middle of that. Like, just draw a line, a vertical line up and down. Okay, and the bottom left in this in this this area right here. I'm trying to think of a okay. Draw real lightly because we're going to erase this. But this is what we we got wrong last year, and I want to teach it just a bit or show it just a little bit. Just draw real lightly a triangle. That is that big. I mean, I know it seems big, but yeah. But we're going to make it into something. But that's how big it needs to be. Last year they didn't get it quite big enough. Okay, so once you have, you know how big it's going to be, then it's going to curve in. I'm trying to erase it a little bit. Okay, and then it's going to go in. And then it's going to bulge out. that okay and then i see i see a backward j i don't know what else to call it 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 goes like this and then it loops so it's a it's like a, a backwards j i think is that a backwards j or an l it's like a it's like a cursive l like a you know, like a, a yeah, no, wait, that's, yeah, you're right. It's backwards S, yeah. Okay, okay, you guys, we're getting close, we're getting close. Okay, so, oh my God, we're almost done. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna come back up here, we're at 3B, 3B, okay, this one's easy. It curves like, whoopsie, like that. Okay, and then look at the background space. Like, look at this space right here. See how it's little and then it gets bigger. And let's do the top of 3B over here. I, we missed that one. Oopsie. 
Okay, so in this right here, okay, this is really, this is kind of hard. You just have to watch. It goes like this and then it jumps. Oops. I'm a little off. So it's like this, this jumps into here and then jumps to there. There we go. That's it. And then do y'all see this line from up here? Yeah. It has to come and touch that little dim of watcher. Yep, yeah, right here, this little line right here. I mean, if you want to, there's another little line that goes like this, but I don't think we have to have it. But there is a little line that goes right there. So it's like a check, a check mark, check, and it curves up. Okay, everybody, we just have, okay, let's do 4A. Okay, uh, no, but what I would do is, let's see if everybody can see, 4A divided in half, and then in, in half, we want to find out where a fourth of the way over is over here. Okay. Does that make sense? We want to find out one fourth of the way over. We're in box 4A, just to let you know. Okay. So you're going to do kind of a hill or a mountain that goes like this. And it goes into the next box. And then there's a straight line that goes right there. Okay, I'll show you that again because that's kind of weird. So in box 4A, there's like a, it's kind of like a rainbow, kind of goes into this box a little bit. And then there's a straight line right here. And then if you want to, you can go, let's go ahead and finish the bottom left of 3B right here. It kind of is a rainbow going this way. Let's see, one, two, three. We just have four things and we're done. Okay. So in the bottom right of 3B, make sure there's a, a straight line here and it goes into the bottom box. Then you want to have another one. <laughs> the other Zoom just downloaded. Sleepers, creepers, it takes forever. Okay. Um, I'm just going to draw it because I don't know how to explain it. Something like that. There's kind of a hill. It's like a smiley face here, kind of. Whoopsie. So it's a it's a smiley face, a hill, then a bigger smiley face right here. And then there's two straight lines right here. Anybody think they know what it is? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Anybody in in the Zoom want to put in the chat what you think it might be? <laughs> Yes, somebody got it already. Y'all got it too. Okay, we have two more things, okay? This is important too. Okay, right here in, in, the, in the egg, in the top of the egg, color in a, a circle. And then on um, this other little shape right here, we need more of a o kind of like an oval like that. And if you don't know what it is, look at the person across from you. If somebody sitting across from you, look at their. 
or you can flip yours around or you can turn yours around this way it's a mystery drawing look at that <laughs> So if you want to, of course it's Gooby. Some of y'all knew it. Right. So what I would do now, because this one is really hard. I'm, I'm telling you, this was hard. This is the hardest one that I've ever done. You might want to go back and make adjustments. Like I'm going to make this eye a little darker so y'all can see it. But yeah, it's perfectly okay to turn it around and make adjustments if you want to. In fact, let me give you the real thing because then that is better than my drawing. Let's see how me zoom back out. There we go. Okay. Yes. So I know that was a lot of work, but that's exactly how I drew this one. Okay. Do you think I drew this upside down? 99.9% .9 I drew this upside down. Why? Because of what just happened. Did your Scooby turn out looking good? No. No? I'll have to come look at it. Oh. Okay. So this was drawn almost 100% like this, upside down. And then every once in a while, I would turn it around this way. But it was mostly drawn like this because I'm not good at drawing at all. And so that's why I have to turn things upside down because it helps me not know that it's Scooby. If I tried to draw Scooby, like just somebody say draw Scooby, it would not look, even look like Scooby. Y'all would think, y'all would probably laugh at me, but that's what this was all about. So take a picture of your drawing and you're gonna put it in your do now or do never. You can turn it in. The last class they said, do we do it upside down or right side up? I'm like, I don't care, it's up to you. It's up to you, but however you want to do it, either upside down or right side up. And try to remember what just happened, like when we do our, our, our final project. Miss Mooney. Miss Mooney. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, we're doing the same thing. Yes, you sure can. Hi, uh, Miss Mooney. See you later. Um,
think I'm missing a line. I am. There's a line. There's a teeth. There's supposed to be a line right here for his teeth. I think. I don't see it in this, but yeah. I think. I don't know. I'm going to have to get another picture of Scooby. Yeah, there has to be a line right there for his teeth. Yep, you guys are welcome to. Oh, I was going to have them show me there. Darn it. I know. You want to see the last class? Let me show you. It was so cool because they all showed me at one time. Uh -huh. Yeah. I feel like that's pretty easy. It was, it was so easy. See, this is the other classes. They all held them up. Yep, they did Bart. Yeah. And you know what? Some people didn't even know who it was. What? This is the first year that nobody knew who this was in the in the last class. They didn't know. They said, I know he's on the Simpsons, but I don't know his name. I know. It's like, oh, I guess it's time for me to do something new. They did. They didn't know. They did not know. It's funny. Hi, CC. Hi, CC. 